Hi there, how are you? Okay, my name is Doctor, Doctor, okay? What's your name? Okay, that's a lovely name. What brings you into my office today? Okay. Mm, okay, I see, I see. Alright, so you've been having problems focusing. Mm -hmm, can't keep your attention, can't keep your attention, you know, focused on something, always getting distracted. Mm -hmm. I get it, I get it. Now, how old are you? Okay, so you're in school. Yeah, and it's it's final season. Yeah, you've got finals. Mm hmm Tell me about them. Tell me. Tell me about them. Oh, okay. That seems, yeah, that seems very rough. Okay. We do see a lot of that around final season. There's a lot of stress in the air. Mm-hmm. I am very familiar. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, so I know what to do. Don't worry. It'll be okay. I think we're gonna get you tested for ADHD, okay? Now, have you... Oh, okay. So you're already tested then? Diagnosis. Can I see that? Have the papers? Okay, let me see that. Okay, now this is an email, okay? Let me saw. Diagnosis is by Diana on TikTok. Um, okay, now, is this Diana person board certified? You think so? Okay, well, where does this person operate? Where are their offices? Can I get in contact with them? Maybe have them send over your medication? You know, your chart. Okay, right, so, sure, sure thing, yeah. So, actually, we are operating a clinical study on ADHD right now. We're just going to have to go through the criteria to see if you fit. You okay with that? Just do a little test, is that okay? Okay. So. I'm gonna type stuff up on my computer, okay? What is your full name? I need your legal name. Okay. 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 And what is your date of birth? Okay, I'm gonna need your address. Okay, now when was the last, when was the date of your diagnosis? Well, typically that would be on your chart, but seeing as Diagnosis by Diana does not have access to all of your complete medical records. When could you give me a best estimate? Okay. Do you have a history of autoimmune disease? Well, that would be lupus. AIDS slash HIV, fibromyalgia, perhaps any severe allergy, anything like that. Okay. Do you have any relatives or a family history of autoimmune diseases such as lupus, AIDS slash HIV, fibromyalgia, any severe allergies, or anything like that? Okay. 
Do you have a family history slash have you had a history of any cancers? Okay. Do you have any medical history slash family history of anything you think I should be aware of? That's boring. Okay. Do you consent to any medical tests that we will go through with today? That's a secret. I can't tell you that. You just gotta let me know. Okay. Do you have a history of eating disorders slash anything that could affect your mental health, gastrointestinal system, and or muscle slash bone density? Well, I was supposed to ask you about each of those in a separate question but I figured that that would just kind of knock it all out at once. Okay. No, we're not getting started yet. You gotta be patient. What's your blood type? No, we can't test you here. Well, hold on. Hold on. A, B positive. It's just a little party trick of mine. Have you gotten any tattoos within the last four to six months? You donate your plasma, blood, slash, oh, what's it called? Bone marrow? Okay. Sperm? Eggs? Okay. All right, now it's time to get started. So this is a clinical trial studying the effects of ADHD when exacerbated by stress such as exam season. Okay? Okay. So first, I need to get a grasp of how severe your disease may be. Oh, the tip of my finger. See, you have to keep following the tip of my finger. I was trying to distract you and it worked. Follow the tip of my finger. this hand. Okay. I need you to hold your hands like this, okay? And follow my movements, okay? I should have worn my hand with my arm brace. That was a bad idea. You're supposed to copy me when I do that. Okay, you know, seem pretty good with that. 
I don't have any of that, but I do have my lip gloss, so I'm just gonna need to look at your eyes. I need you to pretend like you're reading a book in front of you. Okay. No, don't mind me. Just keep on reading. doing all right. Your eyes seem a little David Bowie, but that's okay. All right. This here is Mr. Tiger. This here is Mr. Bull. So I'm going to be moving them, and then I'm going to tell you to switch, and you're going to have to switch and remember which one you're looking at, okay? Look at Mr. Tiger. Look at Mr. Bull. Look at Mr. Tiger. Keep on looking at Mr. Now look at Mr. Pool. Look at Mr. Tiger. Now look at both of them. Same time. Now don't look at either of them. Whatever you do, do not look at either Mr. Bull or Mr. See, you looked at them. Because I have to mark you down as failing that section. Alright. Now I'm going to need to, uh oh. I'm going to need to test your memory, okay? Okay. Look at the numbers I'm holding up. What was the second number I held up? Okay, it was four. On, on a scale from one to six, what number did I not hold up? It was four again. What color is my shirt? It's pink with strawberries on it. Tell me what numbers I just held up backwards. That could be right. I don't know. I already forgot. Now we're going to play a little game of Simon Says. I'm going to tell you some colors and you're going to tell them back to me. Okay? Okay. Blue. Blue. Blue, green, blue, green, 
blue, green, yellow, blue, green, yellow, red, three, green. Let me try that one more time. Blue, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, yellow. Blue, green, yellow, yellow. Blue, green, yellow, yellow. Blue, green, yellow, yellow. Blue, blue, green, yellow, yellow. Blue, blue, green, yellow, yellow. Blue, red. Blue, green, yellow, yellow, blue, red, yellow. supermarket and it was pouring down rain. He walked home and by the time he reached his front door, he was absolutely trenched from head to toe, but not a single hair on his head was wet. How could this have happened? Time is ticking. Okay, so the answer was that he was bald. Okay. He sells the fruit to the nearby supermarket. So he goes up to the supermarket one day and the grocer asks, how much fruit does he have to sell? With the one tree, a tree has six branches, okay? The tree has four boughs with six branches and five twigs per branch. Each twig grows one piece of fruit. Now how many pieces of fruit, how many plums does the farmer have to sell to the grocer? Yes, you may get out a pencil. Yes, you may get out a piece of paper. I'm sorry, that is not correct. The answer is zero. He does not have any plums to sell. I said he had a pear tree. You're not a very bright one, are you? That's okay. Now, I have one last question for you. Hold on, let me remember it. Um. Let's hear it. If you 
say my name, then I am broken. What am I? Glass. Because if you speak at a loud enough volume or a high enough pitch, then you can shatter glass. Silence. Well, I was gonna mark you as past, but then you, you just did that. And now that was really disrespectful. I'm gonna mark you down as having failed. All right. Now, considering you have the fact failed, I just have. Just these medications for you, okay? So, I'm gonna go drop these all at the front and you can go pick them up, okay? I dropped them. If you could just go pick those up for me, that would be great. I need a drink.